Plug the USB drive into the computer. Open the USB drive. It is recommended to copy the files to the desktop. Right click on this PC, select Manage. Open Device Manager. At this time turn on the machine and connect the machine with the computer via USB. The device manager will refresh. Find use bump 2 or unknown device in other devices or universal serial bus devices. Right click update driver, select browse my computer for drivers. Find the corresponding driver in the folder according to computer system. Click install and finish when it is successful. The device manager will refresh again and it will display BJJCZ device in device manager. Software tutorial for 110 millimeters. Find the software EZCAD2 and double click the application to open. Zoom in or out on working area within the black frame by scrolling the mouse. Click Parameth 3 if the software is open for the first time. Tick Use the correction file. Find the file ending with core in the USB flash drive or have been copied to the computer disk. Calibration of the software has been completed. The left side is the toolbar, it shows the function when mouse is on the button. The right side is for machine controlling. Untick, use default param, if parameters need to be charm. We can modify the speed and power according to the engraving requirements, and other parameters do not need to be changed by default. Let's take text as an example for engraving. Input words in the bottom left corner. Do not forget to click apply button. Click put to origin button if the text is not in the working area. The size can be modified here, and click apply to change. The lock is for proportional scaling when you input numbers for X or Y. Font modification. The fonts are related to each computer system. Don't forget to tick apply. Make the text bold, italic, vertical, or change word spacing by clicking F button. H button is for hatching the text. Set parameters for filling. Z-shaped engraving mode is commonly used with good engraving result. Line space is suggested to be input from 0.03 minus 0.05 normally, which is determined according to the size of the text. Click red to preview. The rectangle will be the marking area. Do not tick continuous part in order not to engrave repeatedly. Picture marking, click draw bitmap file. It supports JPG, PNG, BMP, etc. 
set the parameters for the picture file on the left side. First set the DPI, by default we can set x equals 400, y equals 400. Invert the picture if necessary. Tick grey and do there. There are two extend buttons. Click the one on the top, the brightness can be increased to avoid black dots in blank areas being engraved. For drill mode, the length of time will affect the engraving speed and strength of laser. We test with 0.1 ms. If engraving a picture with white background, it is needed to tick disable mark low gray point and set the number 40. Click red to preview. Click mark to engrave. Vector file engraving. Format supported AOPLT, DXF, etc. Unroop the file after importing the vector file. Delete unwanted parts. Select the required parts, change the size and mine the file. It also needs to be filled similar to text. Preview with red and engrave with mark. Generate barcode or QR code. Select QR code, click apply. QR code can be generated. Change the size if necessary. Click H to fill, same as text and vector file. Input the required content and click apply. Click red to preview, click mark to engrave. Operations for the roller and rotary device. Take marking text as an example. Input a word, comarker. Click apply. Place the text in the middle of the working area. Can drag and zoom the size or change the size by inputting numbers. Fill with button H. Here it is different from engraving on flat material, it is only needed to tick enable and nowhere else. Can also choose Z mode. Click laser, select rotate text mark. 
Click Param to set parameters, tick Rotate Axis. Use a ruler to measure the diameter of the object and input the number. Change the number of gear ratio, input a bigger number if the marking graph overlaps, input a smaller number if there are gaps. A small square appears after clicking. Red is the engraving area for a single character. Press the SE key on the keyboard to exit preview. Click to start marking. In order to better see the effect of the numerical change of gear ratio, let's demonstrate the following. It can be clearly seen that the space between each letter becomes larger. Vector graphics engraving by split mark mode. Firstly open the file, unroop the file. Delete unnecessary parts. Combine the file. Click H to fill. Parameter settings, tick, enable the same as rotary text engraving. Click laser, select, rotary mark. Double click to create dividing line. The distance of the dividing line is determined according to the size of the object. Right click to delete line and drag with mouse to move the line. It is needed to tick mark by split line with this method. And there is another way to control rotating by ticking split size without putting dividing lines. With different numbers input in split size, the results of engraving distance differ. Click param input, the diameter number of the object. The size of overlapping area or gap of the engraved picture can be changed by changing gear ratio number. Let's demonstrate the engraving result. We can clearly see that there are gaps instead of overlaps. Now we change the number of gear ratio with a smaller number. Different objects with different diameters need to work with different gear ratio, which need to be adjusted flexibly. Now we change the number of split size, and we can see that the width of the engraved picture has changed. Summary 1. Accurately measure the diameter of the object. 2. Engrave text by rotate text mark and vector graphics by rotary mark. 3. Change gear ratio number to change the size of overlapping area or gap of the engraved picture.